hi you all thanks for coming back to my channel today i'm going to show you all how to make these really easy flavorful jackfruit it's fried it's delicious it's flavorful it's just all good so you need to start off with some jackfruit in a can i just use the kind from trader joe's make sure it doesn't have syrup it's actually in brine you want to rinse it really well um, and get some of that briny flavor off now i like to soak my jackfruit in some almond milk and hot sauce now make sure that you use almond milk that's unsweetened like you don't want the sugary kind get the unsweetened original almond milk you see them skills holding the baby while i do it and then you can also season your uh milk batter as well so you can I, like i added some lemon pepper because i just had a taste for lemon pepper i don't know why but i did but you can pretty much season this up how you would season up your chicken. If you were making chicken, um, you can do poultry seasoning or like seasoning salt or whatever the case may be. But definitely make sure you add some flavor and then cover it, let it sit for like 20 minutes. And then I also want to season my uh, flour. So I'm using lemon pepper, garlic powder, minced onions, some cumin. And if I had some paprika, I would, um, and salt. You could also add like uh, sasson or even uh, Old Bay seasoning. So as I was mixing it, I was like, oh, this is still kind of like not showing enough flavoring. <laughs> so you kind of want to see the seasoning in your flour. Like you want to see it. Okay. Like we got to add some flavor to this. So we're going to do a double batter. You just make sure you get um, some of that excess milk off of your jackfruit before adding it to the flour. And then I like to use a Tupperware container and just kind of mix it up that way. You could also put it in a Ziploc bag, a plastic bag, whatever. But I just find it easier to do. So this is the double batter. I just go right back into the milk mixture. Make sure it's completely covered. Get some of that milk off of it and then add it back to my flour. As you can see, I kind of did it the hard way. I don't know why I was doing all this, but it worked out. And then as I was going, I just put the uh, jackfruit over to the side until I finished up uh, battering all of my jackfruit. So do a double batter. Next, you just want to make sure that your um, frying oil is really, really hot. I feel mine look too tall up in the, um, the pot that I was using, but make sure it's really hot. And you know, you can test out the heat by just putting a little bit of water in there, like just splashing water in there and seeing if it pops. It's gonna probably take a little bit of time to get that color that you want on there. Um, usually by like that second um, batch, you'll start getting that more golden, darker color to your jackfruit, but it's super easy, you all. So definitely give it a try. Like I said, you can get this jackfruit from Trader Joe's. Um, so yeah, if you all try it out, make sure that you tag me on Instagram, like a photo of it. So excuse my face, my hair, my everything. I wanna just show you all this chicken, like how crunchy it is, y'all. Look at this little piece. Well, not chicken, this fried jackfruit. Uh, this piece is super crunchy, look, oh, it's hot still. You heard? I think it's really good. If anything, I would just let my jackfruit um, soak for a little bit longer. So just get away from some more of that briny flavor. But really, yeah, it is good. Thank you.